Um, in Citadel, which um, in a way is the end of a journey that started 23 years ago when we first bought a tiny house in the shadow of the medieval city walls of Carcassonne, it has been the very first time that I've ever written a traditional love story. Uh, I always have stories of love in the novels, but they are mostly between father and daughter or brother and sister or friends. With this one, at the heart of the story is a love story between Sondrine and a young man also in the resistance called Raoul. Also other people who uh, fall in love and discover that because of the progress of the war, because of what's going on around them, they can't be together or they don't know if they will even be a tomorrow for any of their relationships. It's been a very emotional book to write for that reason, because even though my unit of women, my resistance unit known as Citadel, um, is imaginary, we know from our friends and neighbours in Carcassonne that many women were involved in the resistance. Um, and I was inspired to write the story by a grave, um, a gravestone which is dedicated to the martyrs of Baudrigue, as it's called, when most of the French resistance in the Ord were rounded up and murdered on the same day, 19th of August, 1944. And over time, the men have all been identified, but at the bottom of the tombstone, it has these words, and two unknown women. And that was the inspiration for Citadel in the first instance. But because it was a love story, I wanted to tell the story of who both of those women might be. And so particularly as I got towards the end of the book, um, it became a very hard book to write um, because it wasn't going to be a happy ever after for everybody. Um, but it's been very exciting, actually, writing a proper old fashioned love story for the first time because it's something I've never attempted before and I enjoyed it much, much more than I was expecting to. And it just goes to show that in amongst the adventure and the battles and the guns and the hiding and the coded messages passed on, a good bit of old-fashioned falling in love never goes amiss.